There are several videos on the internet showing pet rabbits joyfully playing in the snow. We want to give our bunnies the opportunity to play happily in the snow, but not everything you see online is safe for our beloved pet rabbits. Fortunately, as long as you restrict the length of time your rabbit spends outside, it is safe to allow them to play in the snow. If the temperature is above freezing, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, it is okay to let indoor bunnies play in the snow. Allow your rabbit to go outside for no more than 10 to 20 minutes at a time to avoid hypothermia. During this time, keep an eye on your rabbit's behavior and bring them inside if they aren't actively playing. Rabbits who are accustomed to outdoor weather will grow heavier coats to deal with winter temperatures. However, indoor rabbits usually do not have as much protection, so we need to be a lot more careful about introducing them to cold environments. Keeping your rabbit from getting too wet and keeping them indoors when it's too cold are both important for preventing hypothermia in the snowy season. Most rabbits have a lot of fun playing in the snow. It's a great way for a curious rabbit to explore something new, and rabbits can use their impressive digging abilities to make tunnels in the snow. As long as you limit the amount of time that your rabbit spends in the snow to only 10 to 20 minutes, there should be very little worry of danger for your rabbit. You do, of course, want to make sure you pay attention to your rabbit's behavior, so you can bring them inside if they are no longer active. It's best if your rabbit remains active for the duration that they are outside. As soon as they start to sit down or huddle up, it's time to bring your rabbit back inside. While they are playing outside, you also want to make sure the rabbit has access to an indoor or warm space. This could be leaving the door open, so your rabbit can go back inside when they are feeling cold, or it could be keeping a carrier on the ground with warm towels inside. Once your rabbit goes back inside the carrier, you know it's time to take them into your warm home. When your rabbit is playing in the snow, you obviously want to keep them located in an area with fresh snow. Avoid any place that might have pollutants from the road or urine from neighborhood dogs or other animals, as this could end up making a rabbit sick. Playing with snow inside. Depending on the conditions outside, it may be safer to bring some snow inside for your rabbit so play with instead. This is ideal if the temperature outside is below freezing, or if you are unable to closely supervise your rabbit. It also prevents the possibility of your rabbit developing hypothermia since they will still be out in cold temperatures. The easiest way to give your rabbits indoor playtime is to shovel some snow into a large plastic bin, or an extra litter box for your rabbit. Then place the bin in a place where your curious bunny can check it out and explore. They'll probably even get on top of it and start digging into the snow. When they're done, your rabbit will easily be able to hop away from the snow and snuggle up without ever getting too cold. Symptoms of hypothermia if your rabbit gets too cold, they can get hypothermia. Normal rabbit body temperature is between 101 to 103 degrees Fahrenheit. If their temperature drops below 100 degrees Fahrenheit, they are at the beginning stages of hypothermia. Hypothermia is especially a problem if your rabbit's fur gets soaking wet while they are playing in the snow. While their outer coat can resist moisture to some extent, if their undercoat gets wet, the fur takes a very long time to dry off. If they get wet, your rabbit will be stuck with freezing wet fur for an elongated period of time, which is usually the cause of hypothermia. If your rabbit is outdoors for only a short period of time, it is unlikely that they will develop hypothermia. However, it's still best to be aware of the symptoms so you can take action when necessary. Symptoms to look out for include Sitting without moving, or moving very slowly Ears and feet that feel cold to the touch or look pale in color Shallow breathing Weak heartbeat non-responsive, or doesn't move around or respond to you when you try to interact with them. If you believe your rabbit has developed hypothermia, it's important to contact your rabbit's vet to set up an emergency appointment. Preventing hypothermia for rabbits in the snow. As they say, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. It's much better to plan ahead and make sure your rabbit can have fun playtime in the snow while also staying cautious so we can prevent any dangerous symptoms of hypothermia. My first piece of advice for prevention is to make sure you only bring your rabbit outdoors when it's not too cold. For an indoor rabbit, you want to avoid temperatures above freezing, so 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. A little warmer than that is best, but even indoor rabbits have fur coats so they can withstand cold temperatures for short periods of time. You also want to be sure that there is no serious wind chill. Strong winds can make the temperature feel much colder than it actually is, so take that into account when determining if it's too cold to bring your rabbit outside. Consider indoor temperatures too. Extreme changes in temperature can be stressful for rabbits. Rather than bringing your rabbit straight from a 70 degrees Fahrenheit or warmer house to the low temperatures outside, it might be better to allow the house to cool a bit first. 
Alternatively, you can keep the rabbit room at a lower temperature than the rest of the house. Rabbits actually do best in temperatures of about 50 degrees Fahrenheit to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Most people consider that to be pretty chilly, but rabbits love it. Avoid long amounts of time outdoors. Keep your rabbits playtime in the snow to only 10 to 20 minutes. This will prevent their coats from being completely soaked through and it will keep them from being out in the cold for too long. During this time, you want to make sure your rabbit is pretty active too. They'll start to get cold as soon as they stop moving around, so it's best to bring them inside as soon as your rabbit is finished playing. Dry off your rabbit. When you bring your rabbit inside, make sure to towel them off as much as possible so that their coat does not hang on to too much moisture. A rabbit with a wet coat can start to develop hypothermia even after they are moved to a warmer place, so it's best to dry them off as much as possible. Continue to monitor them for a few hours after coming inside to make sure they don't show any symptoms of hypothermia. Rabbits can't eat snow. While your rabbit is out playing in the snow, they will inevitably end up eating a little bit. That is simply how rabbits explore the world since they don't have fingers and hands like we do. Don't worry if your rabbit ends up eating a little bit of snow while they are playing. However, if your rabbit starts to eat mouthfuls of snow, and acting like it's a treat, you may want to remove them from the snow. While it's true that snow is just a form of water, the freezing temperature could potentially end up causing problems in their digestive system if it's eaten in large amounts. Protect a bunny from the cold. Bunnies tolerate cold very well as they grow their fur coats to withstand the dropping temperatures. This is why some owners house their bunnies outside all year round. However, it's important that proper shelter is given to them. Their shelter should be protected from drafts, opening facing away from the wind, moisture, and should be tightly insulated using straw, hay, shavings or newspaper. Check their hay every day as damp or moldy hay can make your bunny sick and needs to be thrown away and replaced. Lots of insulation material gives your bunny something to bury themselves in. Cover mesh doors at night with perspex or plastic but make sure there is still an opening for fresh air to circulate and that light can get in. Add blankets inside as your bunny will want to snuggle against them while they sleep. Another trick you can use is to take a cardboard box, place it upside down and cut a hole big enough in the side for your bunny to hop into. Fill it nicely with hay and it can be an extra insulated area for your bunny to stay warm. The hutch should be waterproofed from the roof to the sides and reapplied every couple of years. Raise your bunny's hutch from the ground to protect the bottom of the hutch from soaking in moisture and freezing. It will also prevent the bottom of the hutch from flooding and if your hutch is high enough, will make it harder for predators to get to your bunnies. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.